What's up guys, I'm Shane and welcome back to our Casper College Prestige Dynasty. We are taking on the last dynasty, the Black Rock State Gorillas today. They are number one in the nation. And we are going to get smoked. As far as recruiting goes, I mean, it's, it's going pretty good. We're taking a lead on pretty much everyone we want. If not, we're in contention for them. Added a couple more offensive linemen down here on the bottom of the board. Because I would like to solidify that O-line. And I am recording this before you're still seeing an episode. So you have not yet gotten back to me about whether or not I should go after low lock cheese. But what I'm going to do, I've got this week here. Then there's a buy. So it's going to be two episodes today. But it'll be like a two-week gap for me recording them. Whew, this is going to be fun. Do I break out the alternates yet? No, no, we're going to wait. Top players for the Gorillas, they got a 94 quarterback, a 94 wide receiver, and a 92 center. Our top players are a 51 quarterback, a 51 free safety, and a 49 wide receiver. Yeah, none of these will be the players who were on BlackRock when we controlled them. It's a completely different dynasty, and we're five years into the future anyways. But Gaddy is still the head coach. Again, BlackRock has never lost a single game in this dynasty so far. They're 56, or did they play a game already? They're either 56 or 57 and 0 in their entire history at this point. And we are still looking for our first win. And I've got a feeling come the 12th game of the season, we will still be looking for our first win. Okay. That's all you need to know. It's like a WWE tag team finisher right there. Jeez. We'll go for the screen. Maybe they won't see it coming. Oh, that guy, 90 was on top of it, but he just sort of stumbled past. Luckily, they brought that heavy blitz right there. Leave X, there's X, and throws. Okay, well, we threw it to the Black Rock sideline. X is open, and it got thrown to the other side of the field. Welp, at least we got a first down. And again, very conservative offense and a heavy blitz on the defense. Oh, the blitz almost got there. We got that ball at the last second. And that turned into a nice run for him. My game is chugging right now. QB draw. I don't know why he slid. He probably just could have hurdled and picked up a touchdown right there. He takes off. Downfield blocks. There's nope. one broken tackle. There's nope. two. There's three. He's still going. Finally bringing him down. Did not realize his name was Chase Jones. That's a great name. Which, oh, we chased him down, though. Let's overwhelm their center, who's the third best player on the team. Okay, the blitzes are working now. But, I mean, all they have to do is throw one pass. There we go. Oh, it glitched out. I, I went after the halfback, but luckily he just sort of stood there. I don't know what just happened, but we injured Chase. I got him backwards because I did North Texas and Black Rock at the same time. One of them has three quarterbacks who were all like in the high 90s. Woo. And he'll go in for a touchdown. Washington, take it out. Run it out. Do it. That was a mistake. Here we go, play action. This can't possibly end terribly. Oh. I gotta keep remembering I have a lefty quarterback. Coach is like, go for full back dive. No, I got PA Smash in this playbook that I just found. We're running PA Smash. And we're, we're throwing it. Well, I mean, at least we threw it to our sideline this time. Okay. You guys can't hear the gameplay audio still, because I still haven't figured out if I even can fix it. Uh, my team shouted screen after the ball hit the ground. That's how high our awareness is right now. And Jones right in for a touchdown. Oh, my, the entire Black Rock team got in there. We were nowhere. Ooh, Washington broke a tackle and then lost the ball, but Abrams picked it up. All right, gotta go aggressive here. Gotta go for the four verts one more time. See, I had triangle wide open, but I, I, I missed him by a lot. Well, okay, well, 
No blocks, but somehow Johnson falls forward to at least get no gain. Maybe the slants play is the play. Maybe they won't see this coming. Oh, wall dropped it. He almost had that, though. Okay, well, he's, um... We finally take him down. He would have been gone, but he kept running into his own players. Because they didn't have anyone to block. Engage 8 seems like a bad play. We ran Engage 8, they ran the ball up the middle, and they still pick up 23. Read option. Yeah, Jones right in. Well, maybe he'll go for a Heisman after this. 185 yards to 14. It's going great. What do you mean I'm dangerous? I'm sitting here trying to record, and you're the one who decided to take a nap on me while I'm doing it. And it's your fault for laying on me. Look what you made me do. You made me. It's a three and out right here. For the record, I would have done that exact. It would have been a three and out even without you. Bye. All right, as notice BlackRock missed an extra point. We're still in this thing. They gave us hope. I bit on the play action. Oh my god, Steve McNair! R.I.P. This is Doug McNair. Must be like a nephew or something. Oh! <laughs> I hit sticked him through a block. Okay. So we got that going for us. Nope. Come on, Gonzalo. Whoa, whoa. I mean, we hit him in the backfield. All right, so Long is going to be uncovered, which might be a problem for us. It somehow was not. I mean, well, it wasn't that it wasn't a problem. It's just, it didn't matter. Still, I look at it this way. I'm doing a prestige one-star walk-on dynasty here. We are through almost six quarters, and I have one turnover. So, I mean, that's good, right? Crap. I had a receiver wide open, and it was R1, and I forgot where the R1 button was. Not that I was getting the ball out on the time anyways. I'll do my usual trick audible into the four verts. They'll never see it coming. Look at X wide open, and I missed him. And also their safeties and cornerbacks are so fast that wherever I throw the ball, they're just going to sprint to it. And a wide receiver, wide open, breaks a tackle. It was a nice return to Britain Stadium. I'm glad to see BlackRock doing well. But with 14 seconds left in the half, we're going to be down 34 nothing. I think that's a wrap. Hey, we held them to under 300 passing yards. So there, there's that. 7 of 11 for 139 yards, but 5 total touchdowns anyways. Passing, it didn't go well. Rushing, it really didn't go well. Receiving, hey, Fuller had a decent day. Hey, we got a pancake today, though. That's... Yay. We did at least end up with four TFLs, but, you know, that that's it for the defensive stats. All right, 62 nothing. Yep. Well, I will see you guys for you in a couple of moments. For me, in a couple of weeks. All right, so here we are in, I believe, week five, if I'm not mistaken. Because I believe week three and four, we had bye weeks. So I believe we're in week five. It's been about a week and a half since I recorded the first part of this episode. Like I told you guys. So in that time, obviously, episode one has premiered. I greatly appreciate all the support. Like, you guys made that awesome for me. A lot of recruits pouring in, so I'm sure you want to know what's going on with that, because obviously what's going on in the field is, um, well, it's nothing to write home about. And I, like I said, I left it up to you guys whether or not I should be able to get that one five-star recruit or whether I should stick with the one-stars. And uh, I, I think my buddy <laughs> Naru the Black Swan put it best right here. Thanks. Thanks for the love, guys. But even with just one-star recruits, I still managed to find some pretty decent players who will help us hopefully, you know, get over the hump next season. Now, we did already sign one recruit. We signed that fullback. I did not think that was going to happen, but we got him, so good. He might not say as a fullback. I might see if he could maybe move to tight end or something like that if he doesn't lose any overall. So hopefully that'll help out. 
Actually, I've had really terrible luck finding uh, running back, so he might just play running back for us. As you can see, we're playing FCS this week. It's actually North Dakota State. I'm hoping that they're still trash. <laughs> and uh, we got all these recruits coming to visit. Now, the big ones here, I've been going after a lot of Jucos. So we got a 71 overall D tackle right here. 70 overall linebacker. There was a 66 linebacker. But the way I look at it with the one-star prospects, 66 overall Juco would have been great for an outside linebacker, but Akron was going after him. Screw it. I can probably find someone else in low lock who I can go after. I'm not going to waste points on any of these players. And there's some pretty good people. Now I've got too many offensive linemen. So what I've been doing is I've been giving them as many points as possible. These guys, they're not even on the other boards. So I'm just giving them 100 just for the sake of giving them 100. And just, I don't know, I feel like if I gave him zero points, it would probably work against us a little bit for some reason. Uh, I also found Trent Stone here. He's a scrambling quarterback, 71 overall Juco, but 65 speed, 69 excel. I'm not sure you guys understand what a scrambler is, but that'd be great. He comes in for two seasons, he'll dominate. Roshan Woods here, 68 overall guard, Juco. I've got younger people, but if I can bring him in and start him year one and like redshirt some people... Like, I'm still kind of looking at it from that aspect. Like, we, we've still got to build towards the future as well as for the next couple of seasons. Corey Temple, I'm just going to go after some fullbacks here. I might as well go after two. Now, he's a bust. He's a Juco. But 71 speed, 76 XL. Pretty decent blocking skills. Pretty decent catch, anyways. Uh, I might try and see if one of them can move over to tight end or something. Like I said, halfback's an option, too. But the big one here that I'm excited for, Jesse Williams, Juco kicker, plus seven gem up to an 81, and he's only a sophomore. If we can get him, oh my God, we'll be able to kick field goals. I also have Raymond Gunn here. We're getting a plus 10 bonus, so that's trash. Uh, but he's a 63 overall Juco wide receiver. Same with Drew Swan, but we've got a lead on him already. So if we can sign both of them... I mean, yeah, 63 is trash, but uh, considering we're starting 49s out there, maybe even 43s, you're talking about a 20-point bump right there. I also have a couple other kickers. John Nash is a junior Juco, uh, and Nicholson's a true freshman. Wouldn't mind bringing in a punter as well. If I can bring in all three, I've got the room on the roster right now. And otherwise, like, next man up, like, a 61 overall linebacker, a 60 Juco halfback, like I said, it's just not going well. 62 Juco center, you know, this was the quarterback I was going after before, but I found Stone, he's a better option. You know, it's, like, I've got Tyson Martinez here, 61 overall cornerback, but then Campbell's a 60 true freshman. But we're getting a big bonus for this guy, so I'm just going to take what I can get. Now, I don't have enough defensive linemen on here, and obviously down here we start getting back into the 50s. But Aaron Kirkpatrick, or Kilpatrick, 64 overall fullback, not bad. Not bad. So I think this class can still come along decently. We're still going to suck. But I think maybe we can be competitive. So all these prospects I'm signing, guys, if you want to name one of these players, leave the name down below. You'll be entered into the database, and I'll draw a random number, and we'll figure out who gets to name what player. Oh, so they can't change their name. They just change their colors to be North Dakota State. All right. But think about it. They're 30 points worse than Black Rock in North Texas. Now, we'll probably still lose... But maybe we can put up some points today. And I think it's a good time to break out these alts. Taco John's Field. All right. Our debut game at home. But we've seen the red already. The red uniforms in the uh, initial thumbnail. So, had to go with the blacks today. Look at all these people in the stands. It's not a terrible stadium, actually. Pretty bad kick return. All right, so the recruit wants... They, they want 100 rushing yards, 250 passing. I don't know who they think they're talking to. Johnson can't even outrun a lineman. No blocking on that one. There's a reason why I'm going double headers in all these games. Oh, North Texas is down number 25 in the country. They've lost two straight. So, like I said, this is probably a bad year for him. Pass behind Abrams, but manages to hold on. Fourth and two. Yeah, I don't know. We're in four down territory. Our punter is terrible. We'll probably get better field position if I go for it here. Go aggressive on these blocks, guys. 
That was not aggressive at all. Oh, well, we almost had him in the backfield, and then he broke off everyone in the Super Touchdown. I hope these recruits just like the campus, because that's all we can do to impress them today. Washington fumbles the kickoff. Stumble recovers, breaks off a tackle. Turns that into a pretty decent return. But there was a clipping, so it's going to come back. Well, well, I had triangle wide open, and we missed him by a mile. There we go, Fuller. It's five. Blitz incoming. Drag route was open, and we, we missed him by a mile, too. I just needed to be next year and get some of these recruits in. Nope. Somehow that dump off route worked, and there's where the aggressive strip came into play. I just don't know how he caught that. Oh, but the safety blitz actually got there. Nice drop, Livingston. Oh, Livingston's a quarterback. Never mind. Uh, FCS West just smoked Wyoming, so that's what our rivalry looks like. We cover this tight end. Thank you! Oh my god, tip drill. Barnett! He can't run that back. He's too slow. That's the best field position we'll have all day. Casey Barnett. Thank you for making up for that clipping call on that kick return. It shouldn't surprise me that our first ever turnover was a wonky play that I was barely paying attention to. Our one's running up. Oh my god, Mills! I think we're actually in field goal range. I know our kicker's terrible, but I think we're actually in field goal range. Oh, we had it accurately. He drops it. I'm, I'm going to go for the screen here and just hope. And I took a sack, and I think I took us out of field goal range. Yeah, we're out of field goal range. Look that we're on the 22, and we have to go for it because we can't make this kick. And I just took another sack. Oh, man. We can't capitalize on that turnover. But hey, we got a turnover. Nope. Oh my god, nope. the aggressive blocks are just not... Or the aggressive tackles. And Northern Illinois just took down number six, North Carolina. Maction. Well, he's... No, no, he's not gone. He got taken down. It was actually good for me to blow that tackle, because if I had actually gotten to him, he would have pitched it to the halfback, and he would have been gone. There we go. I mean, he's picking up eight every time. Oh, we injured him. I ditched my zone, and I should not have done that. I don't think it matters. At least we'll make it into the second half of this game. Gonzalez, no, you don't... Okay, we're done. Oh, they didn't get me. I was covering someone on the other side of the formation running an out route. We were never going to catch him. Good slide. The way I look at it this way, too, this recruiting class coming in, we're just next year hoping to be still worse than BlackRock in year one. Like, we're going to need two recruiting classes just to equal what BlackRock was, and that's if it goes well. But, I mean, year one BlackRock, we took on the toughest schedule I can imagine, so. Oh, almost threw a pick because that pass was inaccurate. Actually, I don't even know if it was inaccurate as much as... Everyone out there is probably 20 points faster than who we got. Please bring a blitz and not have this be man coverage. It was man coverage. Oh my god, is that a face mask? Did we just pick up the first down? Yes, it was. I, I'll take the yards wherever I get. It's actually a pretty decent screen pass there, too. Fuller with a great catch. All right, that play was actually... Like, that pass was accurate. It was... Well, I mean, he caught it. Anyone down injured? Oh my god, no one on Mills. Great play. All right. Don't have to take the time out yet. We'll save him. All right, we got Wall on his favorite corner strike. Abrams is out for two quarters with a strain back. 
Wall again. He is incredible. He'll get the Deshaun Gaddy Award and go up to a 50 overall. And Wall standing in the back of the end zone. First touchdown in program history. Of course it's Wall. Who else would it be but Devon Wall? Now we can see if this kicker can make a PAT. He can't. I mean, again, that's why, like, I'm salivating at an 81 overall kicker. He literally would be a big difference in the game right now. So we would have probably, we'd have 10 points right now. He would have doubled our points right now if we just had that kicker and no one else on this team. Like, no other recruit, just that kicker. But they're going to pick up the first anyways. All they have to do is run four verts and we're probably toast. Yep, there it is. Well. That's what I get for opening my mouth. The computer heard me. He bystander glitched, but he was still like five yards in front. I just figured maybe I could switch to him and I'd get an animation or something. Wow, that is a wobbly pass. He'd still be the best quarterback on my team. Upside is, if we get a decent return here, which we will not. I mean, I've still got all three timeouts. Going right to corner strikes. If this can get me 38 yards against North Texas, then I think we can get this to work here. Nope, pressure got there. Out route, oh my god, wall. There's only a third down, though. And met, ah, he dropped it. Again, we're just gonna go for it. Like, we're not gonna bother kicking field goals or punting all season at this point. We glitched. That's a glitched play. We cannot run halfback ISO. I basically just gave them a free three points. Well, that'll wrap up the first half. Down 24-6 to North Dakota State. Oh, it was a speed option. He fumbled it. No, okay, Kirk just picked it up. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, look, we forced a fumble. We got a pick. We scored our first touchdown in the season. Positives to look at in this game. Ignore the score. Gonzalez, I need, I'm just going to have you... Okay. There's absolutely nothing happening on the left side of the field. Like, I legitimately thought it was about to be a screen pass over there. That's why I'm like, Gonzalez, get over there, please. He's gone. Oh no, Stewart got him. I like to think that all the recruits who came in to visit, they're gonna see this and just decide they're not coming here. And, oh, we almost got the... Oh man, just let us sack you. How dare you, we need that. Okay, that was, that was weird. Thank He's you! Still... Oh, he... okay, there we go. <laughs> in the end zone, another force fumble. Okay. We're winning the turnover battle somehow, due to nothing. Okay, so we can't do inside ISO split on an, an a audible. We can only do inside zone. If they had scored that touchdown, like if he just held down to the ball for another two seconds, we would have been mercy ruled and we would have been out of this game. Because I'm just going to do the same thing I do with the relegation league. 20, like down by four scores, that's it, it's over. We're already not coming back. But I'll try and make it interesting. That's a nice run there. Who went down injured? Fuller, of course. Okay, we got Wall going out on a... Okay, come on. On his force in the ball to him at this point. Oh, he actually dropped it. Flag, probably holding. No, it's a face mask. On an incompletion? I'll take it. Oh, another one of my old favorites. Roll out smash. Unfortunately, I just realized I should have flipped this play. We'll figure it out. Wall still almost got that one. If he's going to get, like, credited for, like, three drops today, it's, it's a garbage stat. Also, I'm mostly passing, hoping that we get lucky. Because we've already got, like, 100 passing yards, so... Nope. If 
you know, if I can luck into a couple, like, big plays, maybe we'll hit the 250 and impress the quarterback. I might switch up the playbook for the next game. I'm not, like... I just chose this one at random. There's the pick. Come on, 50 to 60. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, that's the end of this one. <laughs> All right. Well, there's your score back that you should have had. But yeah, I'll probably switch the playbook up. There's no real rhyme or reason why I picked it. I literally just like scrolled, closed my eyes, and then stopped and saw what I got. So I might switch it up because I hate this playbook. Yeah, they smashed us, but hey, we held them under 300 pass yards. Stats on the day, Johnson, 9-25 for 105 yards, a touchdown to pick, which means the computer did nothing after I started super simming. Yeesh. Wall at 3 for 32 in the first touchdown in uh, program history, and Mills at 2 for 47. Nice 29-yarder for him. Six tackles for Harrison. Let's see, what do we have for TFLs? We had one. Barnett with a pick. Gonzalez and Jefferson both forcing fumbles. And Harrison scooped it up. So he was our best player by far today on defense. I know it's laughable to think, but let's jump forward a week and see if these visits went well and see if we signed anyone. All right, so we got a couple. We got the left outside linebacker. Oh, we got a couple guys coming to visit this week, too. The left guard, the cornerback, the right tackle. All right, so our offensive line is already exponentially better. And we got ourselves a linebacker. He'll switch over to the middle, and that's who I'll be using. Okay, respectability right here. Collins, we're still going to be ridiculously close. Same with Baker. Foster's right there. I mean, Utah State's got him on the board, but he's not really doing anything. All right, good. We've got the lead on both these wide receivers. We've got the lead on the kicker. We're gaining on the other two. Oh, Vanderbilt found this kicker. That's all right. I think I'd rather take the punter. These guys were gaining on it. We don't even necessarily need to give them that many points. I think what I'll do... I'm just going to max out a couple people. So I'll go after Parker. I think you're a junior. 79, 80. I mean, halfback's a halfback, I guess. The 61 corner, we're just flying away with without offering him points. Campbell, we're not doing too great, but there's another 60 overall cornerback in Perry right here, so I'll max him out. Take as many cornerbacks as I can get. If I can sign like four of them at a 60 overall, that's great. Ah, that'll wrap this one up, though. Next episode, we're taking on our in-state rivals, the Wyoming Cowboys. They are much better than FCS. I think it's going to go poorly again. But, you know, at, at least we scored a touchdown. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave all that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.